Are you worried about burning through your savings while trying to change careers? Look, I get it. Figuring out your next steps when you're under pressure to find a new job can be really stressful and overwhelming. But what if I told you that there's a way to secure an income that supports your career change? So you're not running out of money and you won't derail your progress. In today's video, I'll share some practical steps you can take right now to land a job fast while still moving towards your long-term goals. For those of you who are new here, my name's Iris Smith. I've been through the ups and downs of career change myself. I know what it's like to feel stressed and uncertain about how long it's going to take to establish yourself in a new field. But trust me, there is a way to make this transition sustainable without sacrificing your financial stability. I've helped countless professionals do just that. And today I'm going to show you how you can do it too. Let's start with something crucial to understand before we dive into the practical steps. If you are feeling stuck, if you're feeling lost or unsure about your next steps, you are not alone. Career change is arguably one of the most challenging transitions you can go through and it's completely normal to feel overwhelmed. But here's the thing, changing careers isn't a quick fix. It's a journey that typically, typically takes two to three years. And I know you might not want to hear that right now, but understanding this will help you set realistic expectations. You see, changing career isn't merely about finding, finding a new job. It's a, it's a process in which you gradually discover what kind of work really fits you, fits your skills and your values. It's more like a series of small intentional steps, like taking a course, networking with someone in a new field or experimenting with a side project. Each step helps you learn, helps you grow and gets you closer to where you want to be. Now, the truth is you won't always know, won't always know exactly where you're headed at the beginning and that's okay. It's perfectly normal to feel like you're taking two steps forward and then one step back again. The key is to keep moving even when the path isn't clear. And that's where good enough jobs and bridge jobs come in. When you need a job quickly, without losing momentum in your career chains, these roles are your lifelines. They offer the financial stability to keep progressing towards the bigger picture. Here's what I mean. A good enough job is a job that pays the bills and keeps you afloat whilst you work out your next steps. It's a temporary solution that buys you time to focus on what's next. A bridge job, on the other hand, is a strategic stepping stone, a temporary role that brings in some money, but also helps you build skills and connections. See it as a launch pad or a stepping stone to your future. So the job you're looking for right now doesn't have to be your dream job and certainly not your final destination. It's about finding something that supports you financially whilst you continue to explore and refine your career path. The full transition might take time, two to three years, but every small step you take now is progress. Next, let's quickly talk about how to secure a good enough job or a bridge job, other than using LinkedIn or job boards. The key is to leverage your existing network. This is one of the quickest ways to land a job, but it requires a thoughtful approach. Here are some tips. Start by making a list of people in your network who are in industries or roles where you could see yourself working temporarily. Prioritize those with whom you have either a strong relationship or who have helped you in the past. Then write a personalized outreach message. When reaching out, be proactive in offering value. For example, you could write something like this. Hi Kelly, I noticed that your team is working on a specific project. I've had success with, insert a specific skill in the past, and believe I can help you solve a specific problem or achieve an outcome. Could we discuss how I might contribute? The key here is to make it easy for them to see how you can help without making them do the hard work of figuring it all out. Always make sure you follow up after a few days if you haven't received a response. In that follow-up, you, follow you want to reiterate your offer to help and express your continued interest. This approach can open doors and help you land a job with relying on job boards. Now, 
just a reminder, you are not looking for your dream job right now. Focus on finding a practical solution or a stepping stone that serves you in this stage of your career. If you would like some more help on how to secure that good enough or bridge job fast, I've got something just for you. Download my free guide, Five Steps to Land Your Next Job While Changing Careers. It's packed with actionable tips and strategies to help you get hired fast and maintain financial stability. The link is in the description below this video. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell so you're notified each time I drop a new video. In the next video, I'll be talking about why your career change might be going nowhere. Now, this is also the point where I'd love your input. If you have any specific questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, drop them in the comments below. Your feedback helps me create even more valuable content to you. So let me know what you're curious about or what you're struggling with, and I'll do my best to tackle it in an upcoming video. See you next time.